Hello there and a very good evening. More than 200 people reportedly suffered from food poisoning and rushed to the hospitals during the 90th birthday party of former First Lady Imelda Macross earlier today. The Philippine Red Cross and a local community official said at least 137 people had been sent to hospital during the party at an indoor sports arena. According to the staff, emergency rooms in the city's Pasig area were inundated with patients vomiting and suffering diarrhea and dizziness. Food packs distributed at the celebration included a boiled egg, chicken adobo in a plastic bag and rice. An airstrike hit a detention centre for mainly African migrants in a suburb of the Libyan capital of Tripoli late on Tuesday, killing at least 40 people and wounding 80. The incident was the highest publicly reported toll from an airstrike or shelling since eastern forces loyal to Khalifa Haftar launched an offensive three months ago with ground troops and aircraft to take the capital. Libya is a main departure point for migrants from Africa fleeing poverty and war and trying to reach Italy by boat, but many are picked up and brought back by the Libyan Coast Guard supported by the European Union. Thousands are held in government-run detention centers, which the human rights groups and the United Nations claimed of having inhuman conditions. The bodies of seven climbers killed in an avalanche near India's second highest mountain in May were airlifted down to lower ground on Wednesday, where they will be identified. Eight climbers, four from Britain, two from the United States and one each from Australia and India, went missing on May 31st after they failed to return to their base camp near the 7,816-meter mountain Nanda Devi. Meanwhile, the body of one of the climbers has not been found. According to the paramilitary Indo-Tibetan Border Police Force leading the mission to bring the bodies down from the mountains to the, to the town of Pitoragar, the first four bodies were brought down early on Wednesday, while the remaining three will also be flown in to Pitoragar shortly. District Police Chief Ram Chandra Rajguru said the bodies will be identified, after which they will be flown down to another town for post-mortems. And that ends the English news for today. I'm Shira Abamanso for TV Sarawak. Thank you for watching.